Hey, what's up guys? This is John from George Team TV. In this video, I am going to show the initial setup process for the brand new Superbox S1 IPTV device. This is not a Kodi device. This is a IPTV device. Uh, in this video, I'm simply just going to show you the setup process. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about the device or how things work. I just want to simply show you how to set it up as soon as you plug it in um, so of course uh, once you unbox the device you do have a antenna uh, that is also in your box that you will need to put on uh, the side of the device obviously it's a screw in antenna uh, so make sure you do see that so uh, this is when you turn it on you're going to get to the disclaimer note disclaimer notice go ahead and read through that click agree uh, next thing is you're going to choose whether you're going to hook up to ethernet or wi-fi uh, I'm going to hook up to Wi-Fi. I'm going to select Wi-Fi. From there, it's going to reset, um, excuse me, it's going to uh, access uh, uh, the different Wi-Fi setup that you have. Um, and I am going to go ahead and collect that. I am going to pause the video, enter my uh, Wi-Fi address, and then pick the video back up. So if you see a little shake in the screen, that's right, why. So once you have your Wi-Fi password, uh, go ahead and go over and click on Connect and then give that a second once that's done click on next at this point you need to set up your uh, screen size so what i'm going to do uh, just press the up button on your remote um, and for a good setup for me is 99 or 100 i think both of them are pretty much the same for me um, so 99 percent. you just need to you know take a look at it and see what fits your tv screen the best so from there click finish and let's click the finish button. All right, so uh, that's gonna pull up to the home screen of the device. Uh, first thing you wanna do is go down to your settings wheel. You have to give that one second. Um, initially, with your first boot up, it'll do this for a second and then kick back to the screen. So, all right, go down to your settings wheel to begin with. And uh, once we get this pulled up, the first thing we're going to do, we've already got the network set up, so we're going to go to date and time. And uh, from here, choose your time zone. I'm in North Carolina, so I'm going to choose Eastern time. Uh, from there, you can go from 24-hour to 12-hour format, completely up to you. And then also, you can change your date format. And I am going to set mine like that. Today, it's 9-9-2019. Uh, uh, once you have that done, you can hit the return button on your remote. Uh, sound, that's not really anything that you need to worry about or mess with right now. Uh, of course, you uh, have the volume button on the remote control, so uh, if you want to turn that all the way up. Typically, when the device is first uh, initially set up, I think the volume is around 73. So, of course, if you want to put that up to 100, just use your remote control for that. Display, we do not need to worry about that. Do not need to worry about factory reset, device message. Um, the English uh, language should already be selected. Um, you know, if you need to choose something differently, you would do that right here. Of course, I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, storage, uh, we don't need to mess with that either. If we wanted to get into more settings, we would uh, do it by going all the way over on the remote control like that. Advanced settings get you into the main Android settings of the device. We're not going to worry about any of that right now. Like I said, this is simply just a setup video. All right, so once we have that done, uh, return back to your home screen. After that, what you're going to want to do is uh, install the IPTV app that comes with the device and the video on demand app that comes with the device. Uh, both of those are tied into your device itself. There's not a user and password that you have to worry about. Uh, with that, you don't have to worry about somebody sharing the information and the accounts getting locked out. Um, when I had Evolution IPTV in the past, uh, provide it to my device owners. Uh, that's one thing we had to worry about was people sharing the username and password. This is completely tied to your device. This is your account. And with that, you do not have to worry about the information being shared. So uh, go over to App Store. And of course, you see the Google Play Store, um, which you can obviously set up that. Uh, you can sign into the Google Play Store and install any app that you would want to from there, but that's not what we're going to do right now. What we're going to go to is uh, App Store. Hit OK on your remote. Uh, from there, it's going to give another disclaimer notice. Uh, so allow that to count down real quick. 
And then once that counts down, we are going to click the OK button on the remote control. All right, so go back to the App Store one more time for that to let us in. All right, so once we're in here, the two apps that we're going to worry about is Blue TV and Blue VOD. Blue TV, that is the IPTV service that is tied into the device. So click that in order for it to download. Uh, and then uh, what you can do also is with the, the device, once these are downloading, in order for them to actually install, sometimes it'll take a minute. Uh, whenever it does that, you kind of have to just, you know, be patient for a minute and allow the screen to uh, go ahead and, you know, finish doing what it has to do. So, um, you know, the Blue TV has downloaded. Now, once again, we are waiting for it to install. Uh, once it installs, at that point, you'll be able to maneuver around and then go to Blue VOD. So let's go and give that a second and allow that to install. All right, and then once Blue TV is completely downloaded and installed, at that point, go over to Blue VOD. And, of course, that's going to download. And as you can see, it says download it. It does not say installed yet. Uh, so obviously, you will need that to go ahead and show installed also. Um, so, you know, with that, you may have to give it a second. Um, sometimes it will still allow you to, you know, maneuver on to the next thing. So that, that's what we're going to do. Actually, there you go. All right. So both of those have installed. Um, at that point, we're going to go ahead and hit the return button on your remote control. And we're going to get back to the home screen. And then from here, hit live TV and then click blue TV. And then from there your IPTV service will pull up. Uh, like I said, that is actually tied into your device itself. I'm not gonna show you how the IPTV service works right now. Um, once again, this is just a install video, so. Um, but there you go. All right, so let's get out of there real quick and hit one more time. And then we're gonna go down to VOD. And then same thing with blue VOD and then allow that to open up. And of course, I'm gonna do separate videos uh, showing how uh, all this stuff works and, and all that different type of stuff. So, all right, so that's pulled up. So we're gonna go ahead and exit out of there. Um, you know, just to kind of show you uh, also, obviously you have the regular app setting, uh, which you have Blue VOD and Blue TV here also. You do have the Google Play Store, the App Store uh, for OTA, uh, ROM updates, you know, you have updates that will be sent here. Of course, YouTube, Netflix, if that's something you choose to use, not really much of need for it in my opinion, uh, but it is there. Video music, uh, app installer, uh, what that, that would be used for um, is if you download an app and you need to go ahead and install it or anything like that. So, um, but yeah, so basically right there, once you've done that, um, you went ahead and set up Blue TV, Blue VOD, you set your date and your time and just you know set the device up, uh, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, your browser obviously is located right here. Um, you know, this is an Android based device, so normal Google browser. Uh, and once again, you can sign into your Google Play Store and all that type of stuff. Um, if you want to set something up in your favorites file, you just go to favorites, click the plus button, and then just choose whichever app it is that you would want to put there. Uh, and of course, you can do multiple apps uh, if you choose. Once you've done that, hit the return button on your remote, and both of those would be there. Um, you know, pretty easy to do. If you want to get rid of them, go to the add button again, and then uncheck them both, and then hit the return button on your remote. And then once again, um, you know, those are gone from there. So um, down here, if you click that uh, button right there, what that does, that's quick customer service. You can uh, scan that and then it'll just get you a uh, quick customer service, which is a cool feature. Um, of course, you know, I typically would suggest uh, for my customers just to email me um, or message me through Facebook. Uh, of course, the email is support at droidstreamtv.com. Uh, and the Facebook is facebook.com forward slash droidstream TV. Um, so obviously that's probably the best way to contact me. If you wanted to delete something, obviously you have the option right there. 
uh, if you wanted to do a clear of the catch of the device itself and just kind of clean everything up, that would be right there. And uh, yeah, I mean, that, that pretty much gets you set up from there. If you wanted to install some other apps like Movie HD or anything like that, you can definitely do this uh, just like you would with any other device. Um, I mean, really, with Blue VOD, it gives you the majority of uh, movies and TV shows, but uh, you do have an option where you can install even Kodi if you wanted to. I don't see any purpose of it, but you know, if, if you wanted to, that uh, option would be there. So, uh, anyway, I appreciate it, guys. And uh, once again, this is the setup video uh, to show how the new Superbox S1 is set up out of the box. Thanks.